The equipment for your Pest Pro heat treat system includes a heater, recirculation fans, and a temperature monitoring system. Let's start with the heater. The purpose of your heater is to put heat into the room being treated. The heater is powered by one low voltage cord which plugs into the side of the control panel and one or two high voltage cords which plug into the bottom of the control panel. To operate the unit, turn the selector switch to the off position, plug in all power cords, and turn the selector switch to the on position. The purpose of the large recirculation fans is to evenly distribute heat throughout the treatment area in order to prevent cool spots where bed bugs can survive. The fans are powered by a single cord and only operate in the high power setting. The digital temperature monitoring system monitors temperatures from outside the treatment area in order to ensure even temperature dispersion throughout the treatment area. It is battery powered and operates continuously. Temperatures appear at the bottom of the display and you can scroll from one sensor to another by clicking the button at the bottom of the tablet. A standard bed bug treatment will take approximately five hours and will treat up to 300 square feet in a frame building with light to moderate infestation. Areas up to 400 square feet, heavy infestations, and buildings with concrete construction will require additional time. To prepare the room for treatment, turn the furnace or PTAC unit up to its highest setting two hours prior to starting your treatment. When you're ready to begin, unplug all electrical appliances, cover all heating or air conditioning vents and any other sources of air movement into or out of the room, and separate the beds by at least three feet. Place the heater near the foot of the beds with the control panel facing away from the beds. Fans should be placed near the ends of the room and placed on a side so that the fans point slightly upward toward the ceiling and toward opposite side walls of the room with as much open space around the fans as possible. Sensors for the temperature system should be placed near the ends of the room and somewhere near the center of the room, but not directly in the discharge of the heater. Temperatures should be monitored throughout the treatment and fans and the heater should be adjusted to maintain no more than a 10 degree temperature spread between the hottest and the coldest sensor. When the room has reached 120 degrees, furniture should be moved away from the walls, cushions should be removed from upholstered furniture, and mattresses and box springs should be removed from bed frames and leaned against walls or against each other in an A-frame configuration. To complete a treatment, turn the selector switch on the heater to the off position. The fan on the heater will continue to run and should be left on for an additional 10 minutes. To ventilate the room, open windows and doors. After 10 minutes, unplug the heater and fans and remove them from the room. Return all furniture to its original position and turn on the air conditioning to return the room to its original temperature. Remember, these treatments are not foolproof and some rooms may require a retreatment. See your owner's manual for additional information and operating tips.